So you will send your response team to do a rescue. Every school is in a local government. Every local government has councillors and local government chairman. Every local government has a police station. There is a policeman who has jurisdiction over that area. So why is it difficult that in the times we are in today, that the DPO of the police station having jurisdiction over that place can at least, among the people he is posting, while he is posting policemen to banks, he should list the school. At least, even if it is for night duty. Yes. Because, because we just have... Have you known that they are the targets now? They should give it more attention. There is sufficient information to tell us that we should harden that target. Yes. We should not leave them as soft targets anymore. Children between the ages of 9 and 15 for secondary schools are now left in their hundreds to stay within acres of land, unprotected. And then maybe there is only one baba at the gate who does not even have catapults. <laughs> Let alone uh, any uniform of gun. So I think it's completely abnormal. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for us to sit back and review what we are doing. Because it's not working. Now, as we sit, can we say that in Lagos State, we have 9th Brigade in Ikeja. We have uh, another battalion in uh, Victoria Island. Those are safe places, though. <laughs> we should decentralize. Oh. Yes. The Ikorodu, zone now. Ikorodu is burning. And we have officers in Ikeja mm -hmm. sitting down at 9th Battalion. And we have officers in VI. They are ready. We've not, Nigeria has not been at war since the Civil War. Yeah, so. so there are persons who have joined the army and have grown to be high-ranking officers and have not shot a gun at any human being. Yes. And we are still unsafe. Mm -hmm. And then we are allowing children to run riot in, in Obalende and in, in Ikorodu, and we say they are cultists. Please, nobody should bring that thing up again. As I said, should leave they should be washed out of that street. Yes. They should be taken off the road. Without the delay. parents owe those children a duty of care. Yes. So the question now is, for every parent watching this program, you are a father, you are a mother, can you tell us where your child is now? Yeah. And what is that child doing? Doing. Yes. We need to restore family values. And we need to be our neighbor's keeper. People are too scared. Scared of what? You want to abuse somebody. You hide your number and you send a text message. You want to abuse somebody. You hide their number and you call the person. So hide your number and call the DPO that something is happening. Let us all partake and participate in this security. Because who is the security for? It's for us. It's for us. The government officials, the executives, they have bodyguards. Though. They have escort teams. They have armed men following them about. Policemen are signed for their protection. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so. Mm -hmm. But the rest of us, what are we doing? To secure ourselves. The person that packed into the uncompleted building in your street, do you know what he is doing? Have you told the DPO that, there's somebody that somebody just moved into an uncompleted building and he doesn't even go out in the morning? Only in the night. Only maybe, in the night. Maybe. Or you see somebody who all of a sudden he starts moving around with boxer shots in the neighborhood. And you need for you to check his psychiatry. Mm -hmm. Because the next time he stabs somebody at the junction, your conscience should hold you captive. Exactly. He's not a cultist. It's just that we did not pay attention to his psychiatric state as he was evolving. Mm -hmm. People were watching and mm -hmm. they were laughing. Mm -hmm. Now this kidnapping case has to stop.
It has to stop. By all means, all of us need to work together to make it. It stop. concerns all of us. Everybody. Every child should be allowed to carry phone in school. It might not be a phone that can browse. No. I need to make a call. That's okay. It might not. It might just be a button phone. Mm. No internet. So at least the child left can make a call. So I'm calling out for MTN, Nine Glo Mobile, Glo, Glo mm. and um, Airtel. What, whatever, have you, yes. whatever network you are, give us a toll-free number mm. to call for security response. It has come to that, and I want to add again that we, even we humans, we are unnecessarily fearful. We are too afraid. Even when we see something happening before us, you run for your own dear life. You don't even care what is happening. Go to where, where, where we have traffic. You know, these young boys will be, will be robbing people in traffic. Other vehicles are, are watching. People in the vehicles are watching. Nobody could say, hey, hey, no, nothing like that. We don't necessarily fear for nobody want to die because it didn't come to you. At least it's time we should all rise up and be our brother's keeper so that we can fight this, this, this war and win it. We have to win this war kidnapping. Say yes if you agree with me. Yes. 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 We we'll take a break. We'll continue again. Vivid view. Say and do it. it. Welcome back. And lastly, here is what is then is the ripple effect. That's very deep. Hmm? Very, very deep. And it takes us 10 years back. Hmm. Because even 20. children that would have graduated this year have lost school time. So the economy that would have had hands to work in five years' time has lost that batch. So the nation has been cheated. Mm -hmm. What are those children doing with that time they lost? They are not productive to the system. The second thing is that, as we sit today, if your child has admission in Boronu, in Chibok, can any parent sincerely say you will pack that child's clothes and put him in a bus to go to school? That he's going to a boarding school in Chibok? No, nobody. So let's not pretend. Nobody. Let us not pretend. The ripple effect is great. We heard an announcement that about 610 schools have been shut down in the north. Can you imagine? So if every school has JS1 to JS3 and then SS1 to SS3 and has at least four streams, A, B, C, D, JS1, A, B, C, and D. If each class has 25 students, that's already 100. That's already 100. So 100 times 3, 300. Another 100 times 3, 300. So 600 children in each school that has been shut down, mm. multiplied by 631. Mm. Can you imagine? Somebody needs to tell the president that mathematics. <laughs> so that is the number of people who do not have opportunity for education anymore. And then when we say this kidnapping is also a factor of illiteracy, we know that some sects trade with words and then sell a wrong idea, a wrong ideology. Mm to the people. But because the people do not, are not educated enough to have the knowledge that will support a different view, mm -hmm. they tend to embellish it. Yes. That and then they are even told yeah, that if you kill somebody in the name of their God, mm. you will go to that heaven. you will go to heaven. I marry 16 virgins. I marry 16 virgins. What are you marrying 16 virgins for? Huh? It's, I mean, it's, it's really funny. Go to the street and look for the virgins and marry. Don't kill people to marry. So now, we need to make sure the schools are open. So we use education to counter that ideology. We need to also start a proper national orientation to change the discussion, to alter the state of mind, so that we will also say, what does Nigeria really stand for? What does Nigeria really stand for? Are we a people that are just a black continent, a black country that says giant of Africa, giant what? Mm -hmm. We need to defend this giant is giant of what? 
So that the narrative has to change. Giants in crimes now. Then another thing that is bothering me is the fact that we have NTA stations. We are all watching DSTV mm -hmm. and GoTV. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the official quarters have so made themselves uninteresting mm -hmm. that except on 1st October, people don't really wake up and be eager to know what is happening. In the corner, around them. When we were young, you do not change the channel for 7 o'clock news, so mm -hmm. your parents will beat you up. Yes. Because he will come, leave his friend and come to watch news. But now, when we watch news, we I watch that NDDC is struggling for money. Mm. We also watch that they are offing Mike. Mm -hmm. Is that news? Mm -hmm. And, then the, the and we now, they now get an announcement of how many COVID people. Mm. We also now get an announcement of how much money has been stolen. So why would I leave what I'm doing to come and count dead people, COVID numbers, or come and hear another tragedy has happened, another school has been attacked, well, and children need, have been taken away. So I go, so immediately after listening to the news, the Nigerians cannot sleep. This is the view.